If you want to find thrift items like this, or this, or this, then this is the video for you to learn how to thrift smarter, not harder. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandria, and I am a thrift store enthusiast. I believe that you can find a lot of things at the price store not at the price store, at the thrift store for half the cost, if not maybe 90% of the cost based on those items that I just showed you. Now, I always get asked questions about, Alexandria, how do you thrift? How do you find quality items? I can never find the items that you find at the store. First thing first, before you go thrifting, one thing that you want to do is Prepare, prepare, prepare. You don't want to just show up at the thrift store without a plan, without a purpose of something that you are looking for. Because that's when it gets into you just grabbing things to grab them and leads to overconsumption. But one of the things that you can do is make sure that you are following the thrift store's social websites, checking their website. Um, for example, Goodwill Ho has on their website what color tags will be half off, customer um, appreciation day where they have, if you buy so much, you save 25% or something like that. Um, there's another thrift store that I like that they have certain deals um, on certain days where it's half off on the weekends everything is half off and also on the website they sometimes offer coupons or on social media if you mention something you can get a percentage off also on these their social media sites they might sometimes post what they have in stock before you go definitely dress for the occasion if you're a person most of stores they have a no return policy you know, it's as is, and I don't know about y'all, but I don't like wasting money. You want to wear tight-fitting clothing, something such as some thin, not well, not thin, because your booty cheeks cannot be hanging out and your panties cannot be showing, but something that you can pull over. I say leggings. Make sure you have some leggings on. Have on a shirt like this, um, something that you can throw over your clothes as an overlay, but also to protect yourself. Now, I will say that most of the time, I don't protect myself, and I'm getting better at doing that. Make sure you have socks just in case you want to try on shoes, and also you can go and get a complimentary those try on socks that they have at the store shoe store and just keep them for safe keeping they're complimentary okay so when you try on things that you are protecting yourself and also have hand sanitizer disinfectant spray and the disinfectant spray you would have okay this is what you need to prepare for your thrift shop um you can pack a mask some gloves because some thrift stores are a little bit icky hand sanitizer you want to wear leggings a tight fitted shirt so that way if places don't have fitting rooms and even if they do you can just throw the clothes over you and see if they will fit accurately third tip the days that i love going to the thrift store when it is less busy when it is the least busiest and the least busiest for me in my area are mondays and mornings in general so if you want to avoid um the crowd or like finding somebody for an item i definitely recommend going in the morning where it's less crowded and also going in the mornings you can get the first dibs on restock now i will say the goodwill in my area they always are putting stuff out on the floor even when i'm there it's better to get there morning but throughout the day they are consistently putting out new things other thrift stores that i go to they are just organizing so they definitely have a restock day that you want to get before next thing so we got the bag we got the kit we on our way to the thrift store definitely bring a reusable bag if you don't have a reusable bag i recommend that you get one or bring some plastic bags with you this is because good women in a lot of places are starting to go eco-friendly is what i want to say protecting the environment aka save some money so you definitely want to bring your bag and if you do not have a bag they sometimes have a box they keep boxes in the back where i'm located for customers that don't know that they don't have bags anymore one thing that you want to make sure that you are doing is knowing where to go in your store, knowing where you want to go in your store. And that's why it's important to know that what you are going to the thrift store to get. 
thrifting can become overwhelming because it's not as organized as a retail store. Like you really have to sift through the things and the items to find quality items. What I do, and it comes with time, I'll just go through and look like I'm not going through every which in one, but I'll just scan through and knowing how to pick quality items or spot a quality item. That's why it's good to know what you are specifically looking for, the colors you want, the type of item you want, so that it doesn't overwhelm you. So my favorite spots to go to in Goodwill stores to find quality items are the blazer section. Blazers at thrift stores are usually the best quality items. People tend to take care of those a lot. And it's always blazers from back in the day. The quality of clothing was top tier. People weren't trying to cut corners, get cheap stuff. So I always go to the blazers. I go to the shoes. I found Talbot shoes, Franco Sarto shoes, Nine West shoes that have barely been worn. And then for shirts, I love to go to the men's button-ups. Men tend to take care of their button-up shirts. I commonly see a dry cleaning tag all the time on those button-ups, and they fit so much better, especially if you have a big bust. My fourth area that I go to for clothing is the jeans. So I just go to my size, and I'll look, and i since I am a tall girl, I'm about 5'7", I'll look at the bottom to see if any pants are touching the floor. Because if they're not touching the floor, then there's no point in me looking at the items because they're too short. And I'll go to the jewelry. I found a lot of quality jewelry pieces. This one right here and this one right here that you see that I am wearing. I highly don't recommend going through every little item in the aisle you'll know when you see something you want it okay let me go directly to this thing versus skimming a whole lot of nothing but you'll know when you find a quality item and i will show you that right here if you think something is quality i can tell when something is quality fabric you want to look for linen clothing cotton clothing and wool i don't like wool because it makes me itch but those three are just some examples but not limited to to be looking at fabric of good quality you look at the tags and if you see something and you're like hmm this looks like it can be some are you not sure you don't know the name brand always look it up <laughs> always look it up i am not educated on items that are high price because i tend to not shop high price items for me i like to shop 20 and below that's why i really love thrifting because you can find quality high-end items at the thrift store if you are strategic and look like I don't know how to explain it, but if you just look. <laughs> so, um, for example, I found these jeans. And I'm like, what kind of brand name is this? And I'm thinking it's somebody that made, um, like, their own jeans and just put a tag in it. But it actually turns out to be, like, a high-end, a luxury type of jean. So, I scooped them right on up for $4. And these jeans usually run about 100 to $200. Another tip is to look at the put back rack by the dressing rooms. Usually those are clothes people thought were, you know, good quality and maybe they just didn't work out in the fitting. But those are the people that have already done the work for you, aka me, <laughs> when I put stuff back on the, the return rack of the dressing room. Those are good quality items. They just didn't fit me and my big old hips yet. So definitely check the return rack. I always do and sometimes I might find a good find because once again people thrift differently and I will say I look for name brand items that are quality. And when it comes to thrifting, speaking of quality, I want you to know this. <laughs> if you can buy it retail at the price that the thrift store is selling it for, just go buy a brand new. I see a lot of things in thrift stores, especially Goodwill, that are, if for example, a Target item, a $10 shirt, and I'll go on the page of looking at Target, and the, the shirt brand new is $10. So don't just assume that just because you're at a thrift store, you are getting a deal. 
sometimes it isn't a deal so definitely do your research if you're looking up like a you see a fashion nova a target brand a walmart brand h&m forever 21 wherever you like to shop new york and company and it's giving the same price please don't assume that because this is a thrift store that they are giving you a deal. Definitely always look it up. But I say those type of brands, if you can and if you are privileged to, just go to the store and get it brand new. Because it's the difference between thrifting a $10 shirt that's from Target and it's brand new at Target for $10 and getting a, a Talbot's blazer for $10 when it's regular price, $100 and up. So definitely beware of that. That is something I want to say. Do not assume just because you're at a thrift store that you are getting a deal. Definitely do your due diligence, your research to make sure that you are being swept. Okay. <laughs> I love shopping off season. I have gotten a lot of summer clothes in the winter and a lot of winter clothes in the summer. Those seem to be lower priced because people aren't really checking for them. You don't have to fight nobody for no items. This is a very good time. If you want a good quality coat, people are donating their coats and they are very cheap right now because it is off season. When you are looking at your items, um, I have bought things with stains on them and <laughs> and just have faith that the stains will come out. So I want to say do not be torn away or not torn away, but you know, pushed away from purchasing an item because it has a stain on it or if it has a rip or a tear. Always think, can this be sewn up? Can this come out? And I recently saw another thrifter suggest, you know, bring a tie and go pin so you can just test the stain to make sure that it will come out. Always consider, can this be adjusted? Can this be tailor-made to fix me? Can a tailor fix this? Can this stain come out? I don't think a lot of people talk about this enough. You're leaving the store, you got your clothes, you got your fine dishware, whatever it is. I can't stress enough to disinfect the items that you have and have them in um, a separate place. One thing that I do is when I get my items, I leave them in my trunk. I spray them with disinfectant spray and I tie the bag up. The bag up. Bed bugs are real, critters, insects and all that are real. And I want you to definitely just take care of protect yourself and your home to get some disinfectant wipes to wipe down your shoes and i tie my tie your your bags up i call that my little isolation phase and it'll stay in the trunk or outside for a few days and as far as washing some items i will take to the dry cleaner depending on the quality of the item because I don't want to mess it up. I highly suggest if you can, just taking it to the dry cleaner once if you don't want to deal with damaging it or that I feel people don't talk about it enough. Okay. Oh, let's get to the ba The T-zone be working, girl. And just to make sure that I don't overconsume, and I do this for shopping in general, I give myself a 30-minute <laughs> shopping allowance. And once that 30 minutes is over, I'm completely done shopping i get in line and i check out that has definitely helped me save money and not over consume so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and the visuals that it has i am a firm believer that you can look you can you can have quality items for maybe 90 percent of the price at least that's what i do <laughs> i remember <laughs> This is a little story time. I remember being so embarrassed about telling people that I thrifted things because of stereotypes like you need to get things new, thrifting is low income, and I did not want to tell people that I was going to the thrift store for my clothes. Super embarrassed to now, yes, I got this from the thrift store. What you gonna do about it? And I look better than you, and you spending twice as much but you know it is what it is so it's just crazy how time changes and thrifting has become like a cool thing but i think even if it wasn't the cool thing i would always say i love thrifting and i got this from the thrift store but yeah that's a little tidbit about me thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful please like comment and subscribe tell me what was your favorite tip or better yet tell me what was your most exciting find at a thrift store
And also, if you have any thrifting tips of your own, I'm always looking to get more thrifting tips. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. And remember that you are the prize always and forever. Bye. Just got in time